Praise the Lord, we're going to go live here. Share these teachings, and this one is something I never expected to be teaching on, in which I knew it's there, but yet, you, you know, you just wow at <laughs> moments. But I, let's get into prayer, and I'll get started, because I thought, well, it's going to be a short one, but then it, I got to researching and studying, and it looks like it's going to be the normal length for me. <laughs> but share anything that I teach, and you're welcome to comment and give me any information you might think of when I'm teaching. So join in and always bring a pen and paper and your Bible because... I give out a, quite a few scriptures, and some I won't most some of them I won't read, but some others I will. So, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Jesus, for this evening and for what you're trying to show us and teach us. And help us to learn more of your word. Help us to learn more of who you are and what you are, and how you can what you can do for us, and enlightening our eyes and our minds to your word and revelation of that word that we may apply it to our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight's study title is Let There Be Light. Have you ever had a moment where it seems like your brain just, ex like the light comes on and your brain just explodes with knowledge and, and with something, wow, I didn't even think of that or didn't know about that, you know, when you see something. It did t for me just recently uh, in, uh, when I was watching a short little video. <clears throat> and this lesson has come out of that moment. Let there be light. In the scriptures, it teaches on light and life. And I'm going to show you the light and life and how they're connected together and what the sources are and different, th different things. And, it, and then I'll explain something to you at the end here why I started this video, studied this. We're going to start with Genesis, the first chapter, because that's the first beginning of light. We'll start with the first chapter, the second and third verse the earth was formless and void and darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters then God said let there be light and there was light let there be light the first phrase let there be really is saying be, it becomes, it comes to pass er, to happen. All right, what to happen? Light. Light is always used as a, a th that is a thing of positivity in life, in natural life, and in the Bible. The light was the light of Christ that disp in this scripture, the light was not the natural light, sun and moon, which it did happen. But how could it be created unless the source, the person of light, was to cause it to happen? And he is Jesus, because he, he was with God at the beginning. And it's the first chapter of John, and I'm going to read some things out of that one, too, chapter. But it is, it was a, it is, this light here is talking about the light of Christ who dispels the darkness. See, what did the first verse, previous verse said, darkness and void and nothing was there. He dispelled that darkness and he brought the light and released, that would release the life that they were going to create here on earth. It was, he had God and Christ had that light that dispels the darkness so there can be the light of creation to come to pass. Couldn't do it 
when there was darkness about. He had to bring about light. All right? Exodus 13, 21 talks about the, that God was a pillar of fire for the Israelites and he was there present like a pillar. His presence was felt strongly on the earth. It was a light and a guide for them to travel at night. He said it would be a light for the night and a cloud for the daytime. A pillar of fire and a pillar of cloud for Israel. And it was God's visible manifestation of his presence being with them at all times. And it was also a protection because remember that pillar of fire stood between them and their Egyptian enemies. So they can make an escape that they can get across the the waters. <clears throat> right, we're going to go through some other things that is light. So we talked about God manifestation in a pillar of cloud, fire, but God in another scripture says God is light. First John one five. First John one five. And this is the message we have heard from him and announced to you. Heard from God or heard from Christ. And, and, to, and announced to you that God is light. And in him there is no darkness at all. God is clothed with light. Think about it because there was it that light that is glowing around him, that is part of him, is a manifestation of all his splendor and his power. He is our spiritual light and a, a moral teacher. All right? And this, uh, think about it, also back in Moses, he was so bright and light that he, he told Moses he could not see his face and live. That he he, it, he was so bright that it caused his him to, the power and the anointing and presence of him caused his Moses's countenance to be uh, very bright or had to be covered. The anointing was completely on him. All right. All right, uh, I'm, the sixth verse, I'm going to read that. If we say that we have fellowship with him or with God and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus and his son cleanses us from all sin. What does it mean to walk in that light of God? Walking in that light means to live by God's standards because it is his manifest light is his manifestation. It is who he is and we live by his standards. What he opens up to us in revelation of the scriptures and we learn of the scriptures we're held accountable to it. So we live by his standards what he teaches and what he told us in the word of God. I found three scriptures that said in, and I'm going to only read one of them because of the men, three scriptures, I'll give you the uh, address to the others in a minute. But this is one as a teenager we were had to memorize, and I was trying to remember it earlier. I thought I better open it up so in case I forget part of it. But it's found it said the word is a light. The word is a light. Think about it. You open it up and it's like 
enlightens you to something of God, enlightens you to something of the Holy Spirit, and enlightens you to the God's character and how and tell, shows us the way. What is it? He's our path. He's our teacher. He's our guide. That light is a guide to us. And this word is our guide. Psalms 119, 105. The word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. See, it shows it guides us along our pathway as we walk according to God's standards. He's a light in our path, lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Also, there's two other scriptures if you hear this. Write it down and look these up. It says that the word of God is a light in these scriptures. Proverbs 6, 23. Proverbs 6, 23. And also 2 Peter 1, 19. 2 Peter 1, 19. All right, so God is a light. The Word is a light. Now let's go to where it said Jesus said something in Matthew five fourteen. Matthew five fourteen, you are the light of the world. Who, us, us believers and disciples and followers of that light that is walking in that light. Because we're walking in the light, we're following his commandments, we're uh, walking according to his word, that light lives in us. We, You are the light of the world, a city set on the hill that cannot be hidden. Light of the world. The light of the world. What light? The light of who Jesus is. The light of God. And the light of his word. And what he has to say. To spread the gospel and the good news of Christ and what he said. We're not to spread all these other gospels. We're to spread this gospel, which is light. All right. Also, I'm going to read that one. Got it marked. There's at the end of time, when all time of this world and everything is finished, when eternity will have no natural light. See, we have a sun, we have the moon, we have the stars, because God created it using his light. Well, uh, at the end of time, when all this world is done away with, and all this old nature and everything is done away with, we will ha see and be part, uh, those that are living for God and ready for heaven, will be part of, the, be lit. Our source of light, just like I have a source of light for doing this this video, but our source of light will not be the sun or lamps or whatever else. Our source of light will c come, emanate from the throne of God. It will light everything that's needed. Revelations 21, 23. And the city has no need of the sun or the moon to shine upon it, for the glory of God has illuminated it. And the lamp is the lamb. The lamp, the source of light, is the lamb. Who is the lamb? Jesus. Jesus is that lamb. And also 22, 5. And there shall be no longer any night, and they shall not have need of the light of a lamp, nor the light of the sun, because the Lord God shall illuminate them, and they shall re re reign forever and ever. So that light will illumine and light up all the areas that we ever thought of in heaven, wherever we exist at that time for eternity. That's a long time for that light and that source to keep burning. But he's, he is an all-powerful all and eternal God. 
All right, we're going to get into something else here showing that Jesus said. Jesus said in John 8, 12. John 8, 12. He said, I am the light of the world, and he who follows me shall not walk in the darkness, but shall have the light of life. See, we, we, we'll shine that light because we'll have it because we're walking in him. I just said that earlier. He is the light of the world. He's the one. And he, and what did he say in John 10, 10? That uh, the, the thief comes to steal and to kill and to destroy, but he comes to give life and life more abundantly. And uh, John 14, 6 says this. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. See, he's light. And because of life, he was able to produce life at creation in the beginning. What he, he had to shine forth his light so creation can come forth. So life of this earth, life of the universe can come forth. In this sense, the life he was talking about, he is the life, he's existence. His phys it's a physical and spiritual, eternal life that we receive because he is life and light to the world. One last scripture in John, the first chapter. And this is a scripture and a vi video, if you go to my... Uh, Facebook page uh, I posted a video and I'll po post it in the comments too again that wasn't that particular video but somewhere else and that, this video explains what I saw I was happened to cross a video and I believe in life at conception but this video and I learned by reading some articles that uh, this scientific fact has come to light. There again, come to light. Of, uh, just recently, and I think it was 2016, is where they really realized and took started taking pictures of through the microscope of when a, the moment of, excuse me, <laughs> mosquitoes bother me, Moment of conception of a human egg in her in a woman's womb. It happens that when the the moment that the sperm penetrates that egg, an explosion of fireworks of zinc. They said it produces zinc when it happens that literally lights up all around the egg. This, And when the stronger, the scientist says, when they seen the stronger that this light is around this egg, shows it's the best viable egg to produce a healthy embryo. So that's what caught my eye to study this that God is the light so because of we may have natural phenomenon of things a rule of whatever how God made it to happen to produce life but without that light of God no life can happen that light and it, that explosion of light which is God's life and life is produced the moment conception. So God bless you. And Ed, I hope you enjoyed the, what little I've talked about tonight. There's quite a bit of information. But God is light. He produced light. Because of his light, because of his life, 
to bring to light and life at the creation of earth, the creation of all the universe at, in Genesis 1. He dispelled the darkness so life and creation could happen. So God bless you. Share this with others. And I'll link uh, <clears throat> that video, one of the videos I saw I got on my Facebook page to this or in the comments. So we're happy that you could join us and and just walk in that light. Walk according to his standards, not our own. That's true light.